Me the morning after a dodgy chicken tandoori. Me when I finally get through to my doctor's surgery after an hour on hold, only to be told there are no further appointments available today. Worth waiting for. And this is me at the police station reporting my neighbour for parking one inch over into my space so I can't open my car door to get out. We're here to report a crime. Yeah. An international war crime, right? Welcome, folks. We're going to do the definitive spring fragrance list, the definitive designer spring fragrance men's list of all time, apart from all the 999,000 other ones there on the internet, guys. Uh, before we do that, don't forget, if you want to get fragrance samples in the USA, Canada, and Puerto Rico, there's really only one place I'd even think about going, and that's myfragrancesamples.com. 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 Link in the description. Go there. Amazing range of designer and niche scents. By the way, look out as I film this this Friday it's gonna be released gravitas i'll tell you the name soon the follow-up to gravitas the incredible fresher sequel to gravitas coming out this friday available in the usa canada and the uk we will be getting also some more stock very soon of shipra fulminare out to the states currently sold out sorry for any frustration stay tuned for more details okay guys let's talk designer fragrances for the spring time uh, you know great time of year love it my favorite time of year the spring buds come out the weather just starts to get a little bit warmer less uh, bitterly cold a bit less rain if you're lucky although it still rains a lot here in the uk throughout the year however yeah, we, we lean therefore a little bit more towards fresher scents if we've perhaps been enjoying some of the more richer decadent scents if we've been enjoying enjoying our tobacco fragrances etc in the winter now it's time to freshen things up with citruses and floral tones at the end of the day wear what you want any time of year but you, you get the gist okay number one this is going to be a mix of old school and modern releases starting with the old though 1959 release monsieur de givenchy absolute classic citrus aromatic beautiful green bitter accords lovely herbal aromatics dry woods in the base very dapper very gentlemanly nice cousin to one that i'm not including in this list chanel's pour monsieur similar vibe you know, some days I prefer this. You can still get this reissued version, although I think it might be... I'm not sure if it's currently discontinued, but they're still out there. Love, Monsieur de Givenchy. Next up, then, I'll just weirdly, I'll do two Givenchys in a row. Uh, not sponsored. If you want to buy them, buy them. If you don't want to buy them, don't buy them. It's got, it makes no difference to me. You want to buy it, you buy it. You, you, you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. They give me jack shit. Jack shit. Jack, 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 jack shit. Okay. I've used tons of this. Gentleman Givenchy Cologne, 2017 or 18 release. Love this stuff. Amazing combination of fresh green citrusy accords with iris. That beautiful, dry, silky accord of iris. Amazing. Works so well, so refined. More of a modern smell. Something unique about this one. Really, really love is Gentleman Givenchy Cologne. Both of those two, not the best performers you'll ever discover, but frankly, who cares? Next up, um... This isn't really designer, so I won't do that one. Why did I put that one in? Okay, let's move on. Um, Habit Rouge, Guerlain, kind of a designer brand. This is 1960s release, mid-60s. Amazing combination on this one. You've got fantastic bitter green citrus again, mixed with a gorgeous rose note and this Guerlainard in the base, which is a sort of uh, vanillic benzoin accord. So there's a kind of sweetness and orientalness, if we're allowed to say that these days, mixed with citrus and rose. Absolutely stunning and unique. Really just perfect with that floral and the citrus ideal for the springtime don't miss out on that one let's check out a chanel edition blanche from chanel chanel allurum edition blanche amazing citrus lemon primarily with a creamy tonka accord some people talk about a meringue cream pie or something like that okay or well, lemon pie lemon meringue pie i don't know I get it though, it's really, really alluring as well as the name would suggest. Women seem to really like this one, not that I interact with them in real life much, but I try. I think this is a real, real stunner and just a great all rounder. Really, really works well though, particularly perfect for the springtime having that freshness. But enough going on there that uh, it's, uh, it's kind of sexy and seductive at the same time. I really, really like that fragrance. Moving along there, we're going to go for a nice cheapie for you guys, Boucher en Pourom. Amazing, gentlemanly, citrus aromatic style fragrance. Again, a gorgeous melange of citrus accords, as Max Forty would say. Florals, aromatic herbal accords, and dapper, gentlemanly, woody tones in the base. Absolutely stunning. You can get it for about £30. 
Eau de Parfum bottle. Go for the Eau de Parfum. That's what I've got. Really, I just love that. One of my, uh, this is my second 100 ml bottle. That tells you something, doesn't it? Next up, yeah, it's got to be in here. It's got to be in here. It's Eau Sauvage from Dior. Get the modern one if you want. Uh, I'm lucky to have vintage, slightly better. Amazing citrus with rosemary, with vetiver. It's Edmund Runiska's masterpiece from 1966. And Steve McQueen said this helped him a lot with the ladies. And that can't be a bad thing. So we've got a great, uh, great note of Hedione in there, which is very important in modern perfumery. This is one of the first fragrances to utilize that. So go for that. If you're really lucky, you can find an amazing flanker that's discontinued from 2007, Fresher Cure. Very similar to the vintage formula to me, uh, but a, a tiny, subtle suede-like leather accord. Uh, it means leather freshness, that name. Get that if you can, but you probably won't find it. Last easy one to find in the list, Armani Eau Pour Homme, 1984, overlooked. Again, I've used quite a bit. Fantastic. Again, sorry, it's a bit repetitive. Citrus aromatic, wonderful vetiver, a little bit of rugged masculinity in there with a very crisp, dry, fresh citrus opening. Very, very stylish, very nice Italian-American brand that I really respect there. Last two, bit of a struggle for you guys to find, but I don't really care. That's your problem. Dolce & Gabbana, Eau de Toilette. You've got to get the original Italian made one with the sticker on the bottle if you do find that then that is an absolute gem okay this is citrus with florals with woods and a twist of green herbal dry tobacco that makes it unique absolute optimism 90 springtime optimism like if you were on holiday in greece or i suppose i should say italy or southern italy or somewhere and you're just going out and the sun's maybe just beginning to go down the spring blossom is in the air wearing this happy you know a happy memory in a bottle. Not that that ever happened to me in the 90s or any other time. Well, maybe it did. Maybe it did. Uh, last and least, kind of, because you, you won't find it very easily. En Sense from Givenchy. Incredible. Think citrus with spring blossom. This is an aromatic fougere officially. Black currant accord in there. A little sweet, fruity, playful black currant, but amazing floral accords in very floral tones in this one loads of all the different floors you can magnolia and all kinds of stuff i don't really know how it smells but uh, if i just had to kind of say it, it's like the smell of pink spring blossom that optimistic happy feeling embodied in the form of a masculine perfume or aftershave or cologne that's what they did here you can't find it very easily if you do don't hesitate even if it's the aftershave i'll leave it there look out for our new release then gravitas can't tell you the name, but you'll find out soon. The follow-up. And remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. Sometimes, though, guys, life may stink, but at least we can always smell good. See you in the next episode. Bye.